This is the third embryology model video and here we are going to see the septum, atrial septal formation. Detailed videos already separate videos have been applied, uploaded and this is only for the viva purpose. So the student should know the basic information that this is the model of atrial septum formation and here is the septum primum and uh, here is the septum primum is from the roof of the uh, atrium a shelf like projection comes down initially there will be opening here that is called ostium primum later on parallelly you have uh, some uh, second septum coming from here that is called septum secundum and what happens uh, when the septum secundum is coming down this ostium primum is closed because of the growth of the septum primum and it is attached with the endocardial cushion understood this is first and then next uh, during the development of the septum secundum here is the uh, opening formed by the process called apoptosis this is what we expect apoptosis and there is a for opening formed here that is called as ostium secundum and here the septum secundum is not a uh, getting fused with the endocardial cushion and this opening is called as foramen ovale. So the blood from the right atrium is going on an oblique direction towards the left atrium. right? And immediately after the baby is born, the lung starts functioning and the pulmonary veins are open and then the blood is gushing into the left atrium because of the increase in the pressure in the left atrium, these two septum they merge and they close this is called as then later on this area will be transformed into fossa ovalis and the floor of the fossa ovalis is formed by the septum primum and the limbus of the fossa ovalis is formed by the septum secundum and this blue color indicates that this smooth portion is of the absorption of sinus venous is already in the previous video we said and here you have the sinus valve venous valve they the septum spurium and the left venous valve they fuse with the septum secundum so this is about the atrial septal formation and here is a ventricular septal formation this is the muscular portion of the ventricle and here you have the membranous portion of the ventricle they both joins together and forms the interventricular septum if the membranous portion fails to form it leads to ventricular septal defect the most important uh, anomaly of ventricular septal defect is phallus tetralogy in phallus tetralogy if they ask you tell phallus of tetralogy means four that is number one is pulmonary stenosis number two is uh, right ventricular hypertrophy number three is ventricular septal defect number four is overriding of the great vessels like iota and the pulmonary here is the nice picture which uh, explains the septum primum formation and the ostium primum formation can you see this opening it does not yet fuse so initially that is the formation of ostium primum second the septum secundum is coming down and here yeah, you have the apoptosis and and here is the blood is flowing in oblique direction this is the endocardial cushion everything is seen clearly and uh, these the venous valves they join with the septum secundum so that's all about the formation and this is the rotation of the gut in the rotation of the gut the students should explain this is a foregut here is the uh, cystic bud liver bud and here is a ventral mesentery this is the developing uh, this is the septum transversum this is the future diaphragm and this is the dorsal mesentery this purple color is your spleen and this is the dorsal iota and from this is the midgut from the midgut this is the artery superior mesenteric artery that forms the axis artery and uh, this forms the axis for the rotation and here see the gut loops are getting rotated during sixth week the because of the development of the liver there will not be enough space to accommodate the intestine so it is thrown out it is called as physiological herniation and the 10th week the development of the uh, vertebral column leads to enough space and this thing when this time to which are thrown out has to go back inside that is uh, at, occurs at 10th week if it fails to go back it is called uh, omphalos seal and here uh, look at this this is the cranial limb and this is the caudal limb the rotation when it comes out it is 90 degree anti-clockwise rotation when it goes back it is 180 degree anti-clockwise rotation so totally 270 degree rotation occurs okay right so this is about the rotation and then you can see nicely the cranial limb and the caudal limb caudal limb only you have the cecum and appendix this is going up and then one by one all the 
loops are going up and finally the cecum and appendix it settle down near the liver and finally it drags down to the right iliac fossa so this is about the rotation at least the student should tell 6th week 90 degree 90 degree rotation comes out and 10th week it is going back to 170 degree rotation and totally 270 degree rotation and development of the genitourinary system so genitourinary system when you talk you should tell us genitourinary system is developed from the intermediate mesoderm and here you have the foregut and you have the midgut and you have the hindgut this yellow color thing is called endodermal cloaca and uh, this upper part is called allantois and uh, this will be developed into bladder and uh, this there are three parts for the cloaca upper part is allantois and the middle part is the vesicle or bladder and the lower part is the phallic part the urethra okay penile penile spinae penile urethra and then the posterior one this is the hindgut hindgut will be developed into rectum and anal canal and this is the urinary system and genital urinary system this is called pronephros and this is called mesonephros and this is this black color is called metanephros so pronephros in the lower animals only it develops and in our uh, human beings it disappears and mesonephros up to the uh, third month of intrauterine life it is activated and it produces urine after that it disappears and these are called mesonephric tubules and this duct is called as mesonephric duct which will be developed into gives rise to many male uh, reproductive organs and here the tubules they will be transformed into efferent ductules of testis and here if you see that mesonephric duct goes inside the bladder and they form the trigone of the bladder and here the metanephric blastema is here that is we are developing kidney and here the ureteric bud is coming out from the mesonephric duct the ureteric bud the ureteric bud will be developed into the uh, ureter and uh, major calyces minor calyces and collecting system so this is about the uh, collecting system and the excretory portion is formed from the metanephric blastema so there are two systems one is excretory part another one is collecting part okay so these two are developing from the ureteric bud as well as from the metanephric blastema and then next is the loop of only everything nephron is developed from the uh, metanephric blastema okay and uh, here you can see everything the same thing so here pronephros and this is unsegmented uh, this is unsegmented this is segmented these tubules are called as mesonephric tubules right so mesonephric duct everything is seen here the same model which depicts uh, this the liver bud it is going inside foregut midgut hindgut same everything is same pronephros and uh, segmented mesonephros unsegmented and segmented and uh, this is uh, these are the tubules same model okay you can see here everything and metanephric blastema the small yellow color thing is ureteric bud the ureteric bud will be transformed into ureter major calyces minor calyces and the metanephric blastema will be differentiated into nephron the collecting unit of the kidney and the same thing here development of the urogenital system in detail you can see here same thing this is the endodermal cloaca, this is the ureteric bud. And here is the pharyngeal arches and clefts. And uh, this is the first pharyngeal. These are all pouches, yellow color. This is called uh, endodermal lining. These are all clefts. First is, at least the student will, should tell, the first pouch will be developed into tubo tympanic recess. The tube means auditory tube, tympanic means middle ear cavity. Second, it transformed to the floor of the palatine tonsil. Third, you have the ventral and the dorsal, dorsal and the ventral bud. The dorsal bud will be developed into inferior uh, parathyroid, and this one will be developed into thymus. And uh, this fourth one, the, the dorsal and ventral bud are there. Dorsal will be developed into superior parathyroid, and this one will be developed into ultimobranchial body, which secretes parafollicular cells which secretes calcitonin and uh, this outer one is called cleft so this is the first cleft and this is the um, cervical sinus the first cleft will be developed into external auditory meatus and this one the second arch overlaps and joins with the last arch 
and they form a small cavity here that will be uh, later on fused and this cavity is called cervical sinus if it persists it is it will be transformed into branchial cyst okay here in this everything is shown clearly exactly the same specimen we have made so at least with this you can try to answer this is a maxillary process the upper one don't say it is a shell for something it's a maxillary process in development of the tongue at least a student should tell these are two lateral lingual swellings one medial lingual swelling and uh, this is called tuberculum impa and these three together forms the uh, this is from the first touch this and this three together forms the anterior two third of the tongue and here is the foramen cecum and this is called hyperbranchial eminence the uh, cranial portion will be transformed into the posterior one third of the tongue the caudal portion will be transformed to epiglottis this is a laryngeal orifice inlet and um, this, that's why this comes from the first hour that's why this is supplied by the lingual nerve and this comes from the third hour that is supplied by the glossopharyngeal nerve right and um, this is the exact model understood these are the derivatives of the student should know all these structures and then next is here uh, pharyngeal arches first arch second arch third fourth at least a student should tell first arch is the mandibular nerve second arch facial nerve third is glossopharyngeal fourth is uh, recurrent uh, superior laryngeal and the sixth is recurrent laryngeal fifth one disappears and the first arch uh, muscles of mastication malleus incus and the second arch you have sep stepidious styloid process yes yes all stepidious styloid process and the upper part of the body of the head and the lesser corner of the head and the third arch can you see different colors have been given and the third arch you have the lower part of the body and the greater corner and the fourth to sixth you have the thyroid cartilage cervical cartilage and tracheal rings exactly the same model we do have and this is the development of the face here you have the lateral uh, frontonasal process maxillary process and the mandibular process here we have a separate video just go and watch the video because this is a big specimen to explain at least the student should tell this tablet column please try to read this and this is the development of the brain prosencephalon mesencephalon myelencephalon prosencephalon will be uh, transformed into the middle dialencephalon and both sides telencephalon the telencephalon will be transformed into cerebrum and inside that you have the lateral ventricle the diencephalon will be transformed into epithalamus subthalamus and the third ventricle and the metaencephalon mesencephalon will be transformed into midbrain and the metaencephalon will be um, promencephalon will be transformed into um, metaencephalon and myelencephalon so the metaencephalon will be transformed into pons and the cerebellum myel encephalon will be transformed into middle oblongata so this is how it is being transformed prosencephalon mesencephalon romencephalon mesencephalon it's same and it will be transformed into midbrain the cavity is cerebral acute that's all